this is just going to be a really quick tutorial on stenciling. So what we want to do is have a stencil mask where this box is that can either hide or show the avatar. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is just make a material for this box, set the shader to .poyomi, tune, extras, and then stencil and vis. So now the box is totally invisible because it's actually all it's doing now is writing to the stencil buffer. And what that is, is every pixel on the screen holds a value from 0 to 255, and it's a, it's a stencil value. So what you want to do is get the box to write to the pixel. So we're going to go with number 17 in this case. So wherever that box is, it's going to write 17 in those pixels. And then the model or your avatar afterwards is going to render and then look and say, if 17 is on this pixel, then I'm either going to render or not render or do a variety of things. It's based on your choosing. So we want the box to always replace the value with 17. So the stencil compare function should be always and the pass operation should be replace. So it's always going to pass. So it's always going to replace with 17. And this model renders at Q2000 because it's using the cutout shader or the opaque shader in this case. So we want to render the cube before the model renders because the model needs to be able to look for that number. And if the cube hasn't rendered yet, that number is not going to exist. So I'm going to set the render queue for the cube to 1999, one before this renders. So now I'm going to go into the model's materials. I'm going to select them all, go to the stencil settings. And I'm just going to set the value to 17 as well because it's looking for that 17 value. And we just want the, all the uh, operations to be keep because we're not writing to the stencil, we're just reading it. So our compare function is just based on what we want. So if we want it to only render where the cube is, then we say only where it's equal to 17. And now where that cube is, is the only place your model is going to be. And if you want to do the opposite, where it only renders where that cube is not, you set it to not equal. And now wherever this cube is, you will not render. And that's really all there is to stencils. Thanks for watching.